Liu Bei and Zhang Fei earned a hard-fought victory, successfully defending Shu. Afterward, Tao Qian bequeathed the lands of Shu to Liu Bei before he passed away. Finally, Liu Bei had a land to call his own. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had taken yet another step toward conquering the land. For he had taken the emperor into his custody after rescuing him from the remnants of Dong Zhuo's army. Sympathizing with the plight of the Han court, Liu Bei came to a compromise with Cao Cao. And receiving imperial edicts through Cao Cao, he did battle across the land in the name of the emperor. It was then that a dark shadow appeared to block Liu Bei from carrying out his orders. Lu Bu, who had been under Liu Bei's protection, used his absence to raise an army of his own. And within the blink of an eye, he had captured Shu. Once again, Liu Bei was forced to wander the land until Cao Cao offered his assistance. He agreed to take in Liu Bei and his sworn brothers and mobilized his troops to reclaim Zhu. Liu Bei was extremely grateful for Cao Cao's generosity, and together they set out for Xia Pi. There was no way that he could know what cruel, cold, and calculating schemes truly lay within Cao Cao's heart. If he was going to go to Cao Cao for help in the end, then why did he ever fight him in the first place? We've received a report from our scouts. It appears that an unknown army is headed this way. I'd bet my life that they are enemy reinforcements. We must hurry and bring an end to this battle. I hear that Zhang Liao is a most capable warrior. Why would such a man be serving underneath Lu Bu? You see that man over there? That's Lord Cao Cao's strategist. He's still young, but he's cunning like a fox. Cao Cao doesn't do anything for nothing. He'll have an angle, I guarantee it. Lord Liu Bei can't really trust Cao Cao, can he? Lord Liu Bei's too gullible. Lu Bu used him, then threw him aside. You're gonna pay for stealing our brother's land. Everybody, no one touches Lu Bu except for me. I never expected Cao Cao to aid us in reclaiming Shu. I must convey my gratitude to him. Lord Liu Bei, it's me. You remember me, right? I got a letter back from my friend. Turns out her family was all okay. And so I wrote back to her, and I asked her to marry me after this battle. Hey, I could be dead tomorrow. I have to live while I can. I'll never forget what Cao Cao did in Shu province. And now we have to fight with him? I don't trust him. I don't forget easily, believe me. Lord Cao Cao thinks you could be a great warrior, my lord. Have you considered a change of allegiances? They say Lu Bu has a beautiful woman at his side. They always go for the strong ones, don't they? For my lords Liu Bei and Cao Cao to join forces, this Lu Bu must be a truly frightening man. So you're the man they call the God of War. <laughs> well, you look pretty tough, I guess. It... it's Lu Bu! By the time I yell that, I'll probably already be dead. I am a warrior. I am not afraid. To run away like a little girl. 
Blue Boo is a mighty warrior. Train hard, men. Your life may depend on it. My plan is, as soon as I see Lu Bu, I turn and run for my life. It's all about balance, you know. Fight a little, run away a little. P is a castle surrounded by water. If we flood it, it will quickly fall before us. Then, we simply need to finish off Lu Bu once he's exhausted his troops. However, Lu Bu is one of the mightiest warriors this land has ever seen. Even if our plan is successful, we mustn't let down our guard. Indeed. Most perceptive of you. However, we have no time to waste. We must begin the attack. We will begin our assault on Chiapi Castle. On you. This will be your chance to prove your worth. on the battle at hand. When Lubu is gone, the people will be happy. You traitor, Lubu! You'll pay for your treachery! Our main camp is exposed. Why would you side with Lu Bu? 
No words are needed on the battlefield. Fight! Ah, you are truly an inspiring sight to behold, brother. I must follow your lead. We must focus our strength and push. Yuan Shu's army is here? They haven't sighted the Blue Boo, surely. He was a true warrior, and as such, he was drawn to the might of the would isolate himself on the battlefield. Prepare to die. Out of my way! A ballista has been set up on the castle wall. We must destroy it to assist our allies' progress. Your wits are a match for mine. It's all over if you lose the battle. That's why I'll do anything it takes to win. Good job, brother. You can't beat me, though. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops!
not necessarily to lose. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Ah, you are truly an inspiring sight to behold, brother. I must follow your lead. Fear my voice. in these ropes! Huh. They're just right for a wild animal. Shahudwin. Fine work. Tao Tao. I hear that you make use of talented enemies. Then use me. The world will be yours. Have some dignity, Lu Bu. Die like a man of courage and integrity. Kill Lu Bu. Tao Tao! Curse you! Why? So, would you have shown mercy to that animal? After defeating Lu Bu at Xiapi, Liu Bei and his brothers were greeted warmly by Cao Cao. However, Liu Bei was unable to clear the uneasiness from his heart. He chastised himself for being too kind, too soft, and for not possessing the cold cruelty of Cao Cao. It was then that a secret order arrived from the Emperor. Cao Cao must be slain! It was a cry for help from the Emperor himself, who had grown weary of Cao Cao's tyranny. Liu Bei thought to himself, if he were to slay Cao Cao, to whom he was so indebted, then he would be no better than Lu Bu. As Liu Bei struggled with his indecision, the order was given to eliminate Yuan Shu, who had attempted to usurp the Imperial throne. Having bided his time in turning on Cao Cao, Liu Bei saw this as a perfect opportunity. Together with his troops, he led a rebellion in Shu. However, the chaos would once again prove cruel to Liu Bei. Cao Cao's massive army dealt his forces a resounding defeat. And during the course of the battle, he lost track of Guan Yu as well. The chaos continued to torment him a man of unparalleled kindness and purity. And so he sought the help of Yuan Shao, the one man who could oppose Cao Cao. He soon found himself on the fields of Guandu, where Cao Cao and Yuan Shao were already engaged in battle. As he prepared for this great conflict, he quietly cursed his lack of strength. All the strength I had. But my actions have seen much blood spilled, and now Guan Yu may be dead. Ah! 
All I ever wanted was to help the suffering of the people however I could. And what's wrong with that? Xiao Yu! I am here, my lord, to join you in your cause as I promised. You would? Why? You could have looked the other way, but you didn't. That is why. <laughs> 